well, I experienced uh, lately is multiple email fields. So the especially people that have come from other systems, mm. they seem to import data. They necessarily don't check data. So in HubSpot, you know that the email field is the primary identifier. Um, they've got multiple email fields like email one, email two, email three. They might have, and some businesses might need these. They need backup emails that they need to contact people on. But then you realize you've actually got a lot of emails inside HubSpot without the primary email field being filled out. So that's something really? to be aware of. And some people don't realize. They're just going to create, you know, they'll need an email. A good example is we're working with a customer that's doing events. And so then they go, oh, I need an email for the speaker. I need an email for the person who's sitting at this table. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> you just need that one contact. And you need to be able to associate them, obviously, with that table or that mm. speaker, right? So just understanding how data fits together, there are some tools rolling out in HubSpot to, uh, with data management and about how things fit together. I think they'll be really good. But just little things like that, just to be aware of how it fits together is really important. 